I'm going to show you how to complete your silkscreen projects. I went to school and I went through all of the art and separations I could find in all the drawers. So you might have some at home that I couldn't find or maybe they were put somewhere I didn't see them, I don't know. I also took them all home with me. Anyway, Montu and I spent hours uh, scanning them and it's possible that some of them might not be scanned well enough, like they might be missing a piece or something, in which case I can take a picture of it for you and email to you um, or post it instead. But um, in the meantime, as you can see on this Google Drive, there are lots of pictures of everybody's prints. So it's a combination of separations and prints and what I can find. Okay? So go on there and download all of your stuff that you need. Okay, so here is the statement. It's the same as before. Discuss your imagery in the prints. What inspires you? What is the meaning in the prints? How do you think about color separations and layering? Do not talk about what you liked. If it was hard, messy, etc. Pretend you're presenting your prints to a gallery director. So what I mean by that is talk about more like the ideas in your art okay like um, is it about friendship is it about perseverance is it about animals whatever the topic is talk about that okay um, here is where you're gonna put your paper cut silkscreen test print you only need to do one because since there's so many of you for meanwhile to to scan three copies of each print it was just too much so we just did one of each so you can put one there, that's fine. If you didn't finish it or don't have it or something, you can do something like, um, if for instance you didn't do it yet, then you should have a drawing and then you should take some tracing paper and make the three different layers and cut them out with a little knife and then post that instead. Okay, images of your four color separations. image of your final four color silkscreen and two experimental prints. Let me show you an example. So here's your paper cut silkscreen test print. Here are your four color separations. See this one is digital and these ones are hand-drawn. Your final four color silkscreen could go here. How about it take up the whole page because since I'm not seeing it in real life I'd like to see it in as much detail as possible and then your two experimental prints after that. Okay, so how does one make a print if you can't print? All right, this is what you're gonna do. So go on here, download your images. If you got to this stage, you one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, whatever it is, you have something on a piece of paper. All right, find your print on the Google Drive. And then get all of your transparencies ready as well, all your separations. So here's a separation that I haven't put on here yet. This one here hasn't got on there yet. Okay, so now I'm going to go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, so you just have to make it whatever orientation works for you. Okay, you can go to this tool right here, the marquee tool, and crop it. So make it look nice how you crop it. Image, crop. Okay. Alright, now we go into here. We don't need this stuff. We just need this. So we highlight that and then we go Command C, which is copy, right? Go back in here. Command V, which is paste. You can also go edit, copy, and paste there as well. Okay, so now we have two layers. So the background and then um, the separation on top. Because I did get I did get three layers done, see? But I didn't get the fourth done, so I have to do the fourth digitally. Okay, so now we want to we highlight the top layer and we go into Edit, transform, rotate. Okay, and then we rotate it so where it looks good, that's about right. Hit return. Okay, now 
we go to the magic wand tool and we basically want to get rid of this so we can see through it. So we highlight it and then you can go edit clear or just hit delete. And then command D is to deselect or you can go here, deselect. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. I don't like all this stuff in here showing still, so let's get rid of it. Uh, highlight that, edit clear, deselect. Okay, that's better. There's still some weird stuff in here. So highlight that, edit clear. All right, that's better. All right, that looks good to me. So now I move it where I want it to be. Okay, nice. Um, the only problem is it's black and we don't want it to be black. We're pretending that we're using an ink color. So in order to do that, we can um, do an overlay. So to do that, we go to the magic wand tool and highlight the layer. Make sure you're in the proper layer. Go to FX. There we go. Color overlay. Let me pick the color we want. You can click on it, you know, and do the color you want. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what that looks like. Now, it looks a little bit too harsh to me. So what you can do is you can go into opacity and you can make it look like it um, has transparent base in it. So if you did 50%, then it would be like 50% ink, 50% transparent base. But maybe, you know, like, yeah, like that's good to me. Okay, so then I would save it. And flatten it right so let's uh, save as let's say final print and we can make it to a JPEG and that will flatten it for you okay all right what if we don't want it to be a flat color but we want it to be a gradient Let's go backwards. Okay, to here. Now we have to set up our two colors that we want our gradient to be in. Okay, so those are our two colors. Make sure it's highlighted. Then go to the gradient tool, which is under bucket. Go like that. Now you have a gradient. Um, again, if you want to make the opacity different, you can. Okay? So, it's up to you exactly how you want it to be. So that's what you do if your print is already partially done. What if your print isn't done at all? You didn't even start the actual print. Okay? Well, get all your separations into Photoshop okay so here they all are Okay, separation one. Now if we just undo the crop, we can go back here and get the other one. Image crop, image rotation, and this one is counterclockwise. Okay. File, save as separation two, okay?
Now we find this one. Separation three. All right, separation four. So now we have, let's make sure they're all open. Four, three, two, and one isn't open. So separation one. Okay. So now let's see what the image size is. They're all at 300. Okay, so that means we want to open a new one and make sure it's 300. So it matches. Okay. I think that's. Let's make it big. Because it's better to have it a little too big. Okay, so Command All, Command Copy, drop it in. Command All, Command Copy. In and all can copy, drop it in, all copy. Okay, now with the magic wand tool, we're going to highlight all the backgrounds and delete them. Just look at one at a time. Okay. I to recall, I want to get in there. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, let's start this one. I'll move it to the bottom because that's the one I want to print first. So highlight with the magic wand tool, go to FX, color overlay. Pick your color you want. Okay. Next one on top. Move it to where you want it. Now this one has a weird shadow in it. I think that's just from the scan. So we're going to just go in and delete that. All right. OK. Now we highlight this. And FX color overlay. Now, if you recall, we actually did this one as a gradient from blue to red, remember? So we can do OK, blue, OK, red. All right, and now we go to the gradient. And it was side to side, so we go like that. OK. And I can see it's not really lined up well. There we go. All right, this one, I think it also needs some deleting and cleaning up. So we go back to the magic wand tool, delete that, okay, that's better. All right, so we'll do FX, color overlay, okay, we did, I remember it was kind of an olive green. that I guess. All right, there we go. This one, do you remember how to rotate it? Edit, transform, rotate. Oops, I'm in the wrong layer. 
let's do the correct layer. There we go. Okay, we can, you know, change the order of things. We want like that on the top or something. We can. All right, so for this color, color overlay. Oh, look at that. You can even do a gradient overlay as well. You can pick one of these. Okay. All right, so now we can mess with transparency a little bit. Let's see, a little bit like that. This one also will transparent. Okay, until we're happy with it. All right, and then you save that and that's your print. Okay, now we have to do the experimental ones. So for the experimental ones, pretend that you have your screen and you're just gonna go crazy on it. All right, so we're going to uh, copy this layer Command C, and now Command V, Command V, Command V. Okay, I just placed it a couple times, and I'm just gonna move them around. I'm making a little forest, right? Now you can just go crazy. Uh, you can go into one of these layers, and you can mess with the opacity, make it really see-through. And then this one, how about we bring it all the way dark? Um, but you can just play around with it, right? And then you can take another layer, how about this one? Command C, Command V, Command V, Command V. Okay, and when you're happy, save it, and that's an experimental one. You can also do some other stuff if you want to go really crazy. Here is an image I made. Make sure that something you made, it's not from the internet. Okay, select all, command C. Okay, command V, so we've pasted it. Now we go to Edit, Transform, Scale. Um, if you press the up, like the Shift key, you can move it and change the proportions. Okay, hit Return. Now we want this on the bottom, let's say. Or you can leave it somewhere in the middle, I don't know. Maybe like there or something. This is when you get to play around. So for your experimental ones, um, you just really want them to be as different as possible, right? It's really like interesting, fun, and different. So we can make this opacity also like that or something. All right, and hit save. All right, and then drag this all over to the file, and that will be your project.